I have formed some of the most, or possibly the most important friendships in my life since I came into recovery. Um, and it's a two-way process because for the first time I've been 100% honest with them, with whoever it may be that I come into contact with. And that creates a level of trust where they can be 100% honest with who they are. I thought it'd be boring at the start, I thought I'd never be able to live without a drink or a drug. But I can, and there is, you can still have fun as well, which is amazing. I never thought I'd be able to have fun without a drink. Everything i ever done in my life, I always had a drink. If I took my daughter to the park, I had cans. If I went on a train, I had cans. If we went to the seaside, I had cans. i never done anything sober. So now, at the moment, it's like, it's like being born again. But at 47 years old, I'm, I'm going to Western Supermare and actually seeing a beach for what a beach is. And the joy in my daughter's face when she's playing it is just amazing. Um, I don't think my life could get much better. Like I said, I'm going to be a dad again in September. So I'm really looking forward to it. This will be the first one. I've had five children and I've been at every one of their births. Every one of them pissed. Um, this one I'm going to be sober. When I, in my earlier drinking, the madness, I, I used to go out fighting every night. I used to um, get into a hell of a lot of trouble. I hated the police. Any reason to pick on a police, I would. Uh, I'd start a fight for no reason at all. Um, but the madness towards the end was, I couldn't stop. What started off as I enjoyed, by the end of my drink, I just couldn't stop. I had to drink. Uh, so the madness was waking up every morning and picking up those first two tins. So once I'd had them, it was, it was game on. The first can I'd be sick, get rid of all the bile from the night before. Um, and then it was just sitting, sitting in the chair all day long, drinking. Drinking and drinking and drinking, till I couldn't drink no more and then I'd go to bed. And as soon as I opened my eyes, I'd start again. So to me, that was the madness. I had no life, I pushed my family away. Um, I had hardly any friends left by the end, apart from drinking mates, and it got that bad. I treated my house as if it was a, a pub. I had graffiti all over my front room walls. Uh, I used to get in pub fights with my mates in my own front room or in my back garden. I dragged people around my back garden by their legs uh, over a game of chess, which is absolutely pathetic. Um, I told my mum to fuck off. She, kept, she said to me, I'm always waiting for the phone call to say you're dead. I said, well, consider me dead then, um, which she did. She wiped me off her Facebook. She never spoke to me. She never phoned me. Um, it's only recently that I've got, my, got her back in my life properly. Um, I was just a horrible person. I didn't care about my family. I didn't care about my kids. I didn't care about anything apart from the alcohol. Yeah, so I suppose that's my madness, is waking up every day expecting it to be different, and it never was.
Four children back in my life, which is from my first marriage. Um, I've got parents that actually call me son, and they're, they're proud that I'm their son. Um, my little girl loves her daddy, and uh, I'm about to be a father again in September. I was pregnant again. Um, I lost a lot of my old mates, but I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. Really, I've made a lot of new friends who don't don't feel the need to drink or use drugs. Um, I do a lot of um, voluntary work at the moment, so I want to give a little bit back, um, mainly to the people that have, that have helped me through my treatment. Um, the SDAS um, funded me to go through six months of treatment, so uh, by doing a little bit back for them, I feel I'm sort of repaying part of, part of my debt. Today I can go to bed on the night and lay my head down, and then my front door's not going to come off by people that I pissed off or by the police. Um, I can wake up on the morning without being sick, um, without feeling the urge to just have a drink and sit and watch Jeremy Carl all day. Um, I actually get things done now. If I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. Um, my, well, I suppose I'm living a normal life, which I never lived before in my before while I was on drugs and alcohol. Um, and believe it or not, I quite enjoy it being normal. 